You're watching Mastery Learning Systems Math Podcast. Count, notice, and remember. Practical ideas you can use with your students today. Would you like to replace huh? with the next time you introduce regrouping? Well, here are some ideas from Mastery Learning Systems book, Addition, Subtraction, and Place Value, that can help. Where do you begin? To actively engage your student's ability to notice and remember, do not explain the concept or model the procedure for them. Instead, guide the students into an experience of the math for themselves, rather than trying to make them remember what you've already experienced. They will best understand and remember their own discoveries. How is this applied to regrouping? We place a familiar approach, working with money, into a new pedagogical context with specifically designed follow-on pages to support the student's discovery and development of fluency. Give your students a $10 bill and 10 $1 bills and a place to put them. The bank will start off with the ones and the student will start off with the 10. Now give them this problem. You have a $10 bill and you promised your friend that you would pay back $1 that you borrowed. So ask them what to do. After two or three problems, the class will sing in chorus, Go to the bank, where they will exchange the $10 bill for 10 $1 bills. Ask them now if they can pay their friend back. While they're answering, write this problem on the board. Then ask how many 10s they have. They'll notice that they had one 10, but not anymore because they gave it to the bank. So ask them what to do with that one in the tens place. Then ask them how many ones they have. Ask them to count the ones to make sure. This is a critical step as it enables students to experience an amount sense. Ask them what is in the ones place now, a zero. Do they have zero ones? So ask for a volunteer to say how to fix it. They will then all cross out the zero and write in a ten since they have ten ones. Ask your students to count the remaining $1 bills after they pay their friend back. Again, this links abstract mathematical symbols with a concrete amount sense. So, how many ones do they have after they pay their friend back? Write that in the bottom box. As mentioned earlier, this lesson is followed by specifically designed pages to build on what the students have learned and to develop a natural fluency born of experience with the math. The student's concrete experience is the best preparation for future, more abstract work. For more ideas and materials in the Count, Notice, and Remember series, visit us at www.masterylearningsystems.com. And we'll see you here next time for another installment in the Count, Notice, and Remember podcast series.